Breaking news! Lee Sun Gyun of Oscar-winning Parasite film has been passed. The fact that this headline is everywhere now, it will have further implications. And this girl got paid, like, a lot of money. But the drama was, he... Hey guys, it's Gina here. If you're new to my channel, hello, my name is Gina. I talk about Korean culture on the internet. Today, I read an article. It is pretty dark. Breaking news! Lee Sun Gyun of Oscar-winning Parasite film has been passed. It is uh, kind of shocking. The actor of Parasite was found unconscious in his car this morning in South Korea. Well, first off, rest in peace. And my prayers goes to his family, his wife, his kids. This is really, really sad. Instead of talking about what exactly happened, I want to kind of point out from a Korean perspective. I grew up in Korea and also America, so I am pretty Americanized, mm -hmm. but I am Korean enough where I can see where this cultural difference is at. Explain how our Korean culture and mindset works from a Korean and American perspective. So next to me, I have my American husband. Um, he will be also gonna be part of this conversation. He is not familiar with Korean culture. So as we dive into this topic, he will be asking some questions and he will have some insights coming from an outsider or coming from an American. Okay, so Lee Sung Yoon, the actor Lee Sung Yoon is actually a very famous, well-known actor in South Korea. He started acting since 1999. So he's been acting for quite a long time, almost, almost 25 years. He is internationally well-known for Parasite, the movie, Oscar-winning movie. And he also was in a lot of well-known drama, Korean drama. And um, he was a beloved actor. So a couple months ago, this club manager went to the police saying she did with this actor, claiming. But then the actor issued a counter statement saying that he never did nor he knew that it was he said he inhaled using a straw through his nose and he thought it was sleeping pill the club manager claims that she did with the actor we Mary and Kevin and a couple other and when the police sampled his like dna no were found. He was basically stating that he was innocent. And then on top of that, what was shocking to the uh, Korean netizens, the online people of South Korea, was that he has a wife and family. He has two sons and a wife. Um, they've been married for 14 years. Because he's such a well-known figure, everybody kind of like knew their like his his family right and ever since this scandal whether he did it or not it just this so much damage to his acting career like his public image everything has gone down from a korean society korean culture doing this is such a big taboo any type of considered hard like schedule be very hard. So while this investigation is going on, like the club manager claiming that this actor did the drug with her, and the the actor claiming that I never did it, you know, like here's my sample, I am innocent. And he even told the police yesterday that he would take the polygraph test saying that he's innocent and, and today he obviously was found unconscious in his car although it only happened two months ago where the allegation happened no one can imagine what this actor went through and also his family his wife his kids everybody because he's such a public figure that i'm sure everybody went to him whether they know him personally or not Oh, also a couple of things is that the club manager said, right, the 
allegation with the actor, but the drama was he hooked up with this club manager multiple times behind his wife's back. That's why it was so shocking to the Korean society because his public image in South Korea is literally known for like this family guy, this like family man who focuses on acting career and his roles in movies and drama all happen like good dad. Like obviously in the US it's a big ever heard Johnny Depp trial, ever heard is proven guilty of trying to cancel him. Was there any other evidence that indicated, besides her just saying this, you know, was there photos released? Was there, try to give me a little more background on this. Right, so there's no evidence, like hard evidence where there's no photography or there's no firm evidence. It's just that she was saying, hey, I did this with, with this actor, right? But the catch is this girl, this club manager, threatened the actor prior she went to the police and she asked for money and she got her money oh so she was she was paid she was paid by the actor and okay so that is evidence so like he wired her money for some reason unknown but something she paid her right right so then the netizen is like why did he pay her because saying that like something's not right right apart from that I mean, they were hooking up regardless, right? So that's why it's like the public image went to to the ground and he lost basically everything that he's been building for the last 24 or even more years. Right. These type of cases are more common. Like in the US, Jonathan Majors just got dropped by Marvel for his assault mm -hmm. And that's obviously a big topic right now so there's a like a of course allegation but also it's the the mistress cheating scandal as well i think the korean government or society focused more on art meanwhile the core of why people are disappointed or were disappointed was because like his public image was just so opposite of his real side his private right. life and this girl got paid like a lot of money i believe close to three hundred thousand dollars us um so she threatened him for money and he actually paid her but like this whole time the wife didn't know <sighs> just this whole situation is so messed up and really sad also like think about how korean netizens are very cruel and especially when there's a cancel like cancel culture right in korea is extremely a lot worse than american i i personally think because like in this tiny country everybody will come to you and try to cancel you versus like america there are just so many different people where people just don't give an f unless they're really into the topic or the issue, right? I think that's a, that's a deeper topic. That's more of like modern cancel culture. That's look at what K-pop stars did to Trump's rally. They're able to <laughs> block him out. Right. But I think coming back to it, it's it's more of there was a uh, something happened. You're not really guilty unless proven with facts. Sure, he might have wired her money. Sure, there might have been an affair. But what she said about the might be false what she said about anything else might be false maybe they just <clears throat> hooked up at the club once and hung out or whatever <clears throat> you know so I think it comes down to like it's a sad fact that he felt like he had to take his own life leave his family even like think about his kids yeah. they're gonna be known as their dad committed so now he looks even more guilty like who knows what he feels like, right? I mean, regardless of Western or in culture, it's an issue that if that is prevalent in today's society. And also, did you know that South Korea has the highest committing rate 
ever like compared to the like rest you, of the like, world. You, know, you can probably list off of the top of your head the, the celebrities that came off the last ten years. It's really sad. Um, yes, for sure. From a Westerner's perspective, from American perspective, what do you think of like what kind of he did? I, I don't know what are available in Korea. I assume they're all available everywhere, kind of. If you look at like within the U.S is now being accepted as treatment for PTSD, same for same for even MDMA. If you look at the history, MDMA was approved for treatments when it was first released, it was abused. Same with a majority of pharmaceuticals in the US, and then they're banned for a long time until they come back. They're found to be helpful in small doses. And obviously, being a celebrity in these type of cultures is not easy. Look at Disney stars. Look at, you can list off how many of them have fallen off or gotten caught doing things that they shouldn't be doing, right? Right. And it's a high-pressure type job. People do abuse substances, alcohol, you know, working out even. And I think it even comes back to, like, what, G-Dragon was caught doing things just a couple months ago, right? <laughs> well, allegedly. G-Dragon is a total different topic that we should talk about. Um, but also, G Dragon was also mentioned by this club manager. I'm not gonna say much about G Dragon. It's another thing. What's interesting is that this actor, Lee Sung Yoon, had his family, and his public image was a lot different than G Dragon. Because G Dragon, yes, also he his public image was somewhat ruined, his reputation and all. But end of the day, G Dragon is still saying he's innocent he is very out and about about his innocence versus this actor he didn't take it as like others did i found this comment on instagram um, i'm just gonna read it it's so not fair the way the south korean people treat those who reportedly do and he was proved negative with this test with so much hate and all that cancel culture to the point those people get depressed and commit. It is holiday season. It's a few days after Christmas. <sighs> the holidays are definitely not joyous for all, especially this year. Sad to hear this. The other person said, South Korean society don't care about mental health issues. <sighs> it's incredibly sad and even more sad that he thinking that the world and his people hated him. I think this actor, just this is just coming from a Kore my Korean perspective. He just seems really reserved and very like a uh, responsible individual. He obviously was in a lot of high stress and he couldn't take it anymore. And yes, by committing, he ended his life. He basically, call it quits for this whole situation but my personal take is that it's very selfish it's really sad i'm little i'm getting a little emotional because think about his wife and his kids oh yeah that comes back to i think the culture itself it's like obviously he was driven to this fact even without being proven you know, guilty. So it's, I don't know, it comes down to like, I think, how clean and put together everyone has to be in Asian culture. And that's, at the end of the day, it's an impossibility, you know? Look at how many clean, perfect people have been caught doing things in the US even, right? Yeah. Look at politics. Look at our celebrities, you know? So it's like, Either you're going to continue to see this happen more and more into the future if you uphold this idol. You idolize these type of people and you expect them to be perfect. We're all human. At the end of the day, we're all human. Regardless of what celebrity status these people are given, they all have their demons. What makes them demon though? Isn't technically the idea of a fair these are the public like what society decided to demonize right and in korean culture alcohol is 
glorified. It's actually within the culture. Like, if you don't drink in, well, also in America too. If you don't drink alcohol in Korea or America, people look at you differently. Like, people are like, why? Like, they treat you like there's something wrong with you. But end of the day, alcohol makes you ill. Like, it's, you can get cancer from alcohol. So what I'm trying to say is, uh, on the other side of the world, where in the United States, like, these, including, like, MDM are now considered as treating PTSD, people with trauma, help people, right? But then in Korea, it's still considered as hard. Even for marrying in the States, they actually sell it here. I think it's something that's the US and Europe is leading the way. Not even that long ago, people were still getting arrested and put in jail for life, federal jail for life for and only recently it's starting to get pardoned it's starting to get more lax <clears throat> and we're moving in a different direction yeah. towards it but who knows how long that would take asia to get there to kind of see that mindset mm -hmm. i think a lot of asians that come to the u.s don't partake but they're exposed to it more so their their view on it is different right versus those that grow up in Asia. Right. Like if you look at family members that grow up in Asia and you even talk to them about it, it's like, no, this is bad. It's, you'll die, this is terrible for you. And if you look at Western culture, it's more of, this is your life, do what you will. I think it goes both ways. There's, there's a fine line, right? Cause like that can very quickly become abuse in any way. Look at alcohol. Alcohol was banned in the US prohibition like that's a thing like it was illegal and so it will take time for the culture to open up and kind of see the uses more it will take time it will take like even looking at the u.s the last hundred years it will take a long time but you know this is more and more stuff i think will happen like this there will be more discussion going forward now i'm thinking because i am exposed to American culture, maybe I am too Americanized where on this topic. Because in Asia, it's still, like, our drugs, they're considered really bad. And, like, in China, Vietnam, like, there are many other countries where they treat as, like, a big threat to the country. And maybe it will never change on its view on and. Even in Korea, they say the only legalized drug that we have in South Korea is alcohol. This is the discussion point. The country is going to start talking about this. In 20 years, if there's more cases like this, there's going to be a continued discussion about this. It's never going to fully get there. That's the same reason why the U.S. hasn't federally legalized anything, right? State by state. And the U.S. isn't even there yet. But... The discussion is what moves us forward and hopefully cases like this don't end up like this and people get the help that they need. They can process and deal with this in a healthy manner. Looking at this issue or event, not only it's involved with Korean society, cancel culture, drug affairs and all that, it's all mixed in. It's very complicated. There's other, other high profile celebrities. Do you think the cases of them having affairs or using illicit drugs in Asia, even where it's very, very illegal, hard to get, is zero? I, I don't think it's zero percent. It's got to be higher than zero percent. I mean, yeah, look at Biden. Yeah. Or like, look at any type of, like if you look at any very famous US bands, they have traveled the world. They have gotten illicit all over the world. You think, you think a Korean celebrity doesn't have access to this? Right. You're lying to yourself. Right. So. I mean, G Dragon also caught smoking marijuana. These are just the people that have gotten caught. Right. So I'm saying, if you guys believe that everyone's just so pure, that's that's a fallacy. It's I I would bet money against that. So. How much would you bet? I would bet all my money. I Ooh. would bet all my money it's not 0%. Yeah. Yep. 
Korea is actually facing problems. A lot of teens in Korea are trying much easier than ever before because of the access to like Telegram, social media, and all. And Korea is going to have to deal with more stricter law or rules because it's got to change. Well, it's not it's got to change. I think the society needs to start having the discussion instead of just brushing it underneath the rug. Right, Right, because they just say, oh, this person got caught doing like X, Y, and Z. We need to cancel this person versus... I mean, like, how do you even deal with this issue? You know, like, there's no right answers. Because, like, look at China. They're just giving them death row. Like, look at, look at what they did in the Philippines. They were executing people out in the streets. There was, you know. But every country is going to deal with it differently. Right. And at the end of the day, society is going to have a discussion from that. So this case is definitely much more interesting and has further implications because of how many Westerners have access to this. CNN is reporting on this. Big news stations are reporting on this. It's... He's an Oscar-winning actor! Exactly. So, I think... so shocking. I think this has further implications than any other case that has happened in the sense where G-Dragon's famous, sure, but I don't think if you ask most Western Americanized white people, they'll know who he is. Versus if you ask... Whoa. No, whoa. think about this. Versus <laughs> if you ask them about an Oscar winning... True. Everyone knows from the last couple of years, Parasite won the Oscar. Some Asian movie won the Oscar. What movie is this? Right? It is everywhere. And the fact that this headline is everywhere now, it's... Think about it. It's... You're going to have a discussion happening even in Western culture. And I think that itself... Like, this death will have further implications than any other celebrity story that's going to happen. At the end of the day, it's sad. The discussion can be used in a positive manner to help prevent deaths like this. Or it can be in a negative manner where more stuff like this will happen, regardless of it being in Korea or not. We, everybody, especially on the internet, we all have to understand... We're all just humans. When we criticize on everyone's private life, private matter, no one's going to be clean or no one's going to be innocent. It's not zero percent. Yeah. So um, I think American audience is much better than Korean audience. And I think South Koreans do know that and acknowledge that Korean netizens are a lot it's not worse. Better. It's not better. It's not better. No, they're really bad. It's not better. It's just because Western culture has dis- been discussing this for a longer period of time. Okay. Well, Korean like portal websites now block comments on like celebrity section, like entertainment section, but. Anyone can leave comments under politics and sports. So they're slowly changing. But again, like, it's so new. Internet is such a new place. And also, in South Korea, if there's something happens, everything spreads like wildfire. And it is such a dense country. And also, everybody is on the same community like same portal same news same like korea itself is just so focused like we're so homogenous together so like for example when there's like a huge issue i'm sure when you ride the subway in korea everybody's gonna be talking about this versus in america i don't think It happens a lot because there are just so many different topics and conversations happen. But that's also down to like how small Korea is. The U.S. is just so big. 
it's, I mean, yeah. like, in certain states, there's discussions about celebrities and people that no one in other, other states know about, so. Right, yeah, exactly. And But anyway, to wrap up this conversation, I hope this brought you some kind of awareness to understand what is happening. And again, I am sending my prayers to the family. <sighs> Let's just be kind to each other. And Korea, I am not sure how the public is going to take this as it is happening. Like it just happened a couple hours ago in Korea. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what you guys think of our conversation. And thank you very much, and I'll see you guys soon in my next video. Bye!